Number 51. A twin-sized air mattress used for camping has dimensions of 100 centimeters by 200 centimeters by 15 centimeters when blown up. The weight of the mattress is 2 kilograms, meaning they really meant the mass of the mattress. Uh, how heavy a person could the air mattress hold if placed in fresh water? All right, so first thing is, um, there's a question similar to this one, number 48, letter B. All right, so I explain a very, I basically identical concept in that problem. So please make sure to take a look at that one as further reinforcement of this concept. Now, um, what we have here is that uh, first, what do they mean by how heavy a person could the air mattress hold? Right? What does it mean to hold the person here on the air mattress relative to the water? Well, in my mind, basically what this means is that if here is the water, right? If, if the water line is, let's say here, okay, then the mattress is holding the person relatively well. If the water line is here, then again, the you know mattress is holding the person relatively well. But as soon as the water level goes above the top of the mattress, right, and it starts flooding the top of the mattress, I, that's what I'm going to consider that the air mattress is not holding the person that well, right? So that being the case, what I realize is that this mattress, the fundamental principle now, is that the mattress has to float, okay? The mattress has to float. That's the principle. Now, what's the, what tells us if something will float or not? Well, you, might, you probably know, right? Less dense items float. If you have two, two different uh, density objects articulating with one another, the less dense item floats and the more dense item will sink. Okay, so what I need to have here is I need to have the density of the mattress being less than the density of the water. That's simple enough. Now, we do know the density of the water. They told us fresh water. This is just memorized. So you know that this is going to be 1,000. All right. So the density of the mattress better be less than 1,000. Okay. So now, why don't we expand on the density of the mattress? Because we don't really know it. So we can use this formula, right? Let's just substitute mass over volume and for density now. So we say that the mass of the mattress divided by the volume of the mattress should be less than 1,000. Okay, now you got to be very, very careful about what you're considering the mass of the mattress and the volume of the mattress, right? Well, the volume of the mattress is pretty straightforward. The total volume of the mattress is easy to find, right? It's just, but we need to remember, if I'm using 1,000 here, this is really in kilogram per cubic meter. So what I need is I need cubic meters in terms of the, uh, the volume, all right? So first, why don't we do that here? Let's convert, let's just do this in cubic uh, meters. Right, 100 centimeters. Uh, I mean, you could do this in a couple of different ways, right? You can either move your decimals if you want, or you can, you know, do this centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, then divide by 100 cubed, essentially. It doesn't really matter. Um, why don't we just simply convert these all into meters, right? So 100 centimeters is equivalent to, if we move the decimal two places over, this is exactly one meter. This is exactly two meters, and this would be 0.15 meters, okay? So let's write that out. So this is one meter, two meter, and 0 0.15 meter. Okay, so let's multiply them. So it's basically just two times 0 0.15, and we get 0 0.3, right? So the, the volume here in cubic meters is 0 0.300 cubic meters. Okay, easy enough. So this is the volume of the mattress. All right, now that, that should be straightforward. That is what this number is. Okay, but what might be less straightforward is what's the mass of the mattress? And you might say, well, how's that, how's that hard? It says it right here, it's two kilograms. Let me just plug that in, la di da Well, not exactly. This is the mass of the mattress without the person on it. Okay, so if that were the case, if the person were in here, you plug two in, you find the density, and then you compare it to 1,000, and if it's less, which it definitely will be, um, then the mattress will float. Okay. But the difference here is that the mass of the mattress is really not just the two kilograms. It's actually the two kilograms plus the mass of the man or the woman, whoever's camping. So what we need to really what we need to realize here, and that should hopefully make sense. If you envision, if you envision this mattress without the person on it, right, it would be floating in water because it would be less dense. Okay? 
Once you place then the person on the mattress now, what do you think happens to the mattress's height relative to the water? Well, it should start to get a little lower, right? Meaning the water level is going to start to come up here. Okay, right? Or maybe it'll come up to here. Or maybe it'll just totally submerge the mattress, right? Now, let's assume it comes up to about here. All right, let's assume that everything below now down here is the water. All right, if that is the case, so let me just back out of this actually for a second. Let me just erase these numbers because we really don't need them. Okay, just erase the 0.15. So if now all of this is now the volume of the water beneath it, okay, what's important here is now the density of, again, this articulating mattress. So what's the entire weight of all of this? What's the entire weight of everything, including the mattress and on the mattress itself? Well, again, it's going to be the mass of the mattress plus the demand. And what's the volume of this whole thing? Well, it's just simply the volume of the mattress itself. It doesn't matter what the man's volume is. Who cares how voluminous this object is that you place on top? It has nothing to do with the problem, right? The only thing that's important is the mass of this object. And it kind of changes the mass, uh, excuse me, it changes the apparent density of the mattress. So a better term here, if I were to add something to this, would be I, what I want to really find here is the apparent uh, density of the mattress. Because it's not the true density of the mattress, right? It would be the apparent density of the mattress. All right, so that would then mean that what I need up here is just the total, okay? And that's what I'm trying to explain. So I'm just going back and just tweaking this a little bit, all right? So I'm just changing the verbiage a little bit. So now it's just simply, as we were saying, the mass of the mattress plus then the mass of the man or the person, whatever, person. So this is your question, right? This is what you have to answer. So what's the mass of the mattress? Two kilograms. What's the mass of the person? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Right? And then what's the volume of the mattress? We already found that to be 0 0.3, 0, 0,0. Now this density, whatever this is, better be less than 1,000. If it is, right? If it is, then we're good and it'll float. So how do we do this? Just do a cross multiplication. Pretend this were an equal sign. So it's 0.3 times 100, right? And that's going to be now 2 plus m has to be less than uh, 30. Well, how did this get from 1,000 to 100? Huh? I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. That's all. So this should be 300. Okay, then simply subtract two from it. So here we go. The mass of the person better be, right? And this is the mass of the, of the person, okay? The mass of the person better be less than 298 kilograms. That's the answer, okay? How heavy? So the person's mass has to be less than this, okay? This is a very massive person, all right? That's 300 kilograms, so most, most pretty, I'd safe to say 99% of the population would be okay to stand on the mattress. All right, so you should be fine if you find yourself camping and needing to, I guess, sleep on a river, <laughs> on a mattress. <laughs> Watch out for the alligators. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.